activists have wasted no time in pushing their agenda into schools across America. Under the guise of AIDS education and multiculturalism, homosexuals are promoting their lifestyle to children beginning in preschool and kindergarten. Books such as Heather Has Two Mommies and Daddy's Roommate are currently being used in many private and public schools and libraries without the knowledge of parents. In addition, the playbook for kids about sex is being made available to elementary school children and gives specific instructions on various methods of masturbation. Michael Swift writes in Gay Community News, We shall sodomize your sons, emblems of your feeble masculinity. We shall seduce them in your schools, in your dormitories, in your gymnasiums, in your locker rooms, in your sports arenas, in your seminaries, in your youth groups. Project 10, named after the myth that one person in 10 is homosexual, was spawned in 1984 in Los Angeles, California. Its goal, according to its lesbian founder, school teacher Virginia Uribe, was to persuade school children, beginning in kindergarten, to accept homosexual behavior as normal and desirable. For her efforts, Uribe was given the award for creative leadership in human rights by the National Education Association. The state courts must be used to force the school districts to disseminate accurate information about homosexuality. I mean, they need to hear, the kids need to hear this. They need to hear the latest scientific information on the subject of homosexuality, and that's something that all kids need to hear, not just gay and lesbian kids. <laughs> Starting from kindergarten, again, and working its way all the way through high school. This idea of talking about it one time in high school, well, we know that doesn't work. We need to start tackling this at the very early ages. We're an organization of gay and lesbian teachers working against homophobia in school. One of the things that sex education does in the public schools is to tell the kids that there is no difference between homosexual lifestyle and heterosexual lifestyle. The aim of that is basically to break down any type of what they would call prejudice against the homosexual lifestyle. So basically what Americans have to understand is that the agenda of the homosexuals is aimed at the children. The young boys are so vulnerable to, to this because there's a period of time in their life, you know, when they like boys. I mean, they don't like girls. They want to stay with boys. And, uh, and if you bring in the homosexual agenda into that educational type of system, the homosexuals are going to just say, well, of course you don't like girls. Well, you're one of us. And it, it is a serious, serious matter. I mean, people don't realize that uh, we're going to lose thousands and thousands and thousands of good heterosexuals to the homosexual revolution. As a school board member, I'm extremely concerned that the homosexual activists across the United States are trying to use public schools and tax dollars to promote their agenda. What they are asking school boards across America to do is bypass the parents. I think the problem that I have with special rights legislation based on sexual preference is it takes the authority and the instruction of parents and undermines it systematically. I think that it, it shouldn't be the role of government to teach a child something else in school that is radically different than what they're learning at, at home.